Meditation is a form of bunya, a word that we usually translate as merit. A better translation would be goodness. You're doing good out of the goodness of your heart. And that increases the goodness of your heart and it increases the happiness as well. This is one of the Buddha's discoveries, that if you do things that are really good, it really is good for your happiness. Oftentimes the things that we think make us happy have nothing to do with goodness. We see them as two separate things. But he says that genuine goodness is a quality both of the heart and the mind. They use the one word in Pali, citta. It means both heart and mind as we hold those concepts in English. So you're not just training your mind as you meditate, you're training your heart in good qualities. You're doing this because of goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. You want to find a happiness that's harmless, a happiness that's dependable. And you put your whole heart into it. You do it earnestly, you do it with it sincerely. And you find that by training the heart and the mind together, both of them grow in a balanced way. Then if you want to dedicate that goodness to someone else, it's a healthy goodness, it's a plentiful goodness. You have a lot to share. One of John Fung's students told me that when she first went to see him, he asked her where she'd been making merit, and she started rattling off the list of the different monasteries where she'd made merit. He said, why don't you make merit do goodness in your heart? This is what we do as we meditate. We're doing some goodness inside, straightening things out. If you think of it as the mind is a committee, you're getting rid of all the lazy members, all the obstreperous members, and you're strengthening the good members. And the goodness of the heart is both a quality of wishing other people well, wishing yourself well, and then being able to have the strength to carry through with that. If you have good thoughts, but you don't carry through with them. It's not genuine goodness. You want it to be goodness all around. And then when you dedicate it to others, they'll be happy to receive that goodness. Because they see it's an all-around goodness. It's a balanced and whole present gift that you're giving to them. Because you can't just give merit to other people, give goodness to other people, but you can do good, think of them. And the fact that you're thinking of them and they see that you're doing something good and they appreciate that. That's their merit then. That's their goodness. That's how it gets spread around. And your goodness is not depleted. The traditional image they give is of having a lit candle in your hand. Someone else has a candle that's not lit. Well, you light their candle. The flame of your candle is not diminished. And everybody gets brighter. So it's not like a material thing where the more you have, the less you have to give to others. Or when you give away something to others, you, you have less. The more you give, the more you have. The more everybody gets. So it's a good quality. It's a quality that breaks down barriers. A quality that creates a sense of being at home with one another, being related to one another. When you do goodness together, it's like you're part of the same family. It's important that we appreciate this aspect of the training. All too often we think that the Dharma is what we read in books and we think about concepts that we have to sort through. But it's not just concepts, it's qualities of the heart. When the Buddha listed his most important teachings, they're mostly qualities of the heart and mind. In the 30, 37 Wings to Awakening. Those are the things he wanted to pass on. When those are passed on, then the Dharma thrives. If they're not passed on, then even though we may have the books and be able to talk about the books, the Dharma dies. So remember to nourish your practice with qualities of the heart, and then dedicate that goodness to other people too, so that they appreciate it, and that becomes their goodness. And this way it all spreads around.